folks. My next guest is a theater artist, playwright, and MacArthur genius. Please welcome Taylor Mack. Hi, baby. Hi, uh, hi, Taylor. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Now, for, for members of our audience who have not seen you perform, uh, and I was lucky enough to see you do a two and a half hour, almost yeah. three hour performance of yeah. your, you do a 24 hour uh, show. Yes. Called Yeah, I know. Kerry Washington was talking about 90 minutes. I was all, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you tour a 24 decade history of popular music. You do 10 songs an hour. It's yes. 24 hours long. Yes. Do you do it all in one chunk, or how do you perform well, the Well, sometimes 24... when we've toured it, we've done four, six hour shows over the course of two weeks, but we did do a 24 hour concert from beginning to end uh, about two years ago. Um, I mean, the, the whole show is about different communities that are building themselves because they're being torn apart. So because it's the history of America. Yeah, it's 1776 all the way to the present. So we it, we hang out in all these different communities throughout our history that have built themselves because they were being torn apart. So like the AIDS epidemic, the queer community built itself because of the epidemic and because of the the government and how it was treating queers at the time. Um, and so everyone had to rally together and build themselves. So we just focus on a different community every decade. And, and there's a different popular song. From that year yeah. that uh, you yeah. performed, all the way from the six of them. Yeah. Um, is um, your costume is, is beautiful, obviously. Thank you. But the it's Machine not... Dazzle created this. You might not... see him later. <laughs> Machine Dazzle. Yeah. Is the name of your design, yeah, yeah, Machine yeah. Dazzle. Yeah. It's 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 not just beautiful, but it's it has a function. What is the function? How do you how do you use your costume? How does it work oh. in the history? Well, I, I I kind of feel like whew, well, this is kind of like a macaron, a macaroni. You know, the, the old those kind of giant things that the 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 queens of the dandies back in the day, Yankee Doodle Dandy. You know, a stick a feather in your hat and call it macaroni. So those this is what that is. Those big head pieces. Uh, and so this is what the British people were wearing. Yes, the exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's my version. It's kind of like I'm saying, you know, there were queers back then too, right? And we have proof of it because Yankee Doodle Dandy, right? So, oh, so I just like to Russell. unearth a little bit of that history. And what what is it? it uh, uh, who is Judy? And and, <laughs> and and what does it mean when you use the term Judy? Well, Judy is my gender pronoun. Um, so instead of he or so she. So he or she is say Judy. You know, it's just for me. It's not for everybody, you know, to use. I don't get it crazy if somebody doesn't want to use it. That's your choice. You know, it's sad for you. But um, I, I chose Judy because I kind of feel like, you know, I wanted a gender pronoun that usually when you have a gender pronoun that's not the traditional status quo ones, people roll their eyes when they say it. And I wanted a gender pronoun where if anyone rolled their eyes, it would immediately make them camp. Right? So, you know, you can't say Judy without emasculating yourself. Oh, Judy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, there's a little activism in my pronoun, you know. So, so as, as I said before, the show is, uh, is American history, but you created this show before Donald Trump was our 45th president. Yeah. Do you incorporate the reality of him into the show? Well, you got to incorporate the calamity, you know? I mean, that's what you got to do. I mean, this, I kind of feel like Donald Trump is the heckler in chief. So um, I, I, when I'm out on the stage, you know, sometimes I'll get a heckler out there, you know, people who scream things or throw things ever so often and stuff. And I think of that, Donald Trump is trying to steal the story of America away from America. So he's, he's that heckler in the audience going, hey, I'm over here. Hey, hey, pay attention to me, you know? So I learned this in the clubs. If something is threatening to take the story away from the storyteller, you have to incorporate that threatening thing into the story at all costs. Otherwise, nobody pays attention to the story. So we have to incorporate Donald Trump into the story, but we can't let him be the lead, right? We're the lead. Well, speaking of which, yeah. you. What are you? We're gonna perform in just one moment. What song are you performing? We're gonna do Patti Smith's "People Have the Power" because I think until injustice gets back into the world or into the world for the first time, we should just be singing that to close every show. Well, stick around for a performance <laughs> from Taylor Mac Show, a 24-decade history of popular music. Taylor Mac, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs>